Setting up IK for 2D characters in Unity might seem tricky, but it's actually easy and a game changer for smooth animations. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to set up IK step by step so your characters move naturally and fluidly. Want to learn how to rig this character in Unity? Check out our previous video, link in the description. Hit that subscribe button and let's get started. To add IK constraint, you'll need to click over this parent object and click over add component search for ik ik manager 2d just add this component now click over this little plus icon select limb and as you can see one limb resolver has been added do same for four time and rename each and every limb resolver to your ik name and let's rename it now click over this bone in here and click over this right button and create a new empty object rename it to right hand ik effector and let's place it something like in here the top of this second bone the reason i did it because if I directly drop this bone, this particular bone as my right hand IKS effector, then I will not be able to rotate this particular bone. And that's why I just created one game object inside this particular bone, the lower arm. And this is going to be our IK effector. So let's do the same for others. Click over this, create another empty object name it to left hand IK factor place it something like here and let's do the same for our legs and let's do the same for this left leg as well now click over this right hand IK and drag and drop this right hand IK effector inside the effector section. As you can see, a green mark is applied. Just click over this create target option. As you can see, we can move the hand as well as we can rotate this arm. Click over restore to default pose and do the same for others. Now for the left leg, just drag and drop this left leg IK effector in here. Click over this create rig. As you can see, this is rotating in wrong direction. So we'll need to click over this flip option. And this is going to fix the issue. As you can see. For this leg, as you can see that this one is rotating weird, but as per this design, I think this is good because for walk animation, I always disable the eye case and for jump and idle, I think this will look good. So I'll leave it as like this and in the next video, I'll show you how we can animate this character inside Unity. So please make sure to subscribe my channel and let's move to the next video.